Hi everyone, this is Nina Amir, the Inspiration to Creation coach and author of How to Blog a Book and the Author Training Manual. Today I'd like to talk to you about how to complete a market analysis because I talk about this in both the Author Training Manual and How to Blog a Book as well as in several of my ebooks. And I get asked about it a lot. People are constantly um, sending me notes or asking me when I speak in public about how do you actually do this? How do you actually find out the size of your market? Because what, you, what you're starting with is a, actually a profile of your ideal reader. You want to know who you're actually writing for. Who is this one person, you know, that one um, person who wants, needs, must have this book, right? Who has the questions that you're going to answer, the problems you're going to solve, the who, who desires the transformation you're going to offer, uh, who has pain points that you're um, going to provide a prescription for, or if you're a novelist who is looking for that uh, adventure, that story, that entertainment uh, that you're going to give them, uh, or if you're a memoirist, uh, you know, somebody who's looking for a window into a different type of life or to uh, travel with you on your journey of healing or of transformation. So um, this you need to know who that person is and what they need and want and what their concerns are and where they hang out so that you can later promote to them uh, all these sorts of things but once you know that you need to actually find out how many of these people exist in the world or in your country and that is where the actual um, market analysis comes in because what you want to know is are there enough of these people to justify publishing a book writing and publishing a book because you don't want to spend your time writing the book and researching the book if there aren't enough people to buy it to actually read it uh, that's where uh, you are going to make back your time and money is when people purchase the book and read the book and I know nobody wants to do to, to go to that time and effort and expense if nobody is going to read the book or buy it so this is where you want to do the market analysis to determine if you actually have enough people to justify producing this book so how do you do that well what you do is you actually go to Google you go to Google or Yahoo or Bing whatever search engine you like and you start doing some research so I'm gonna um, exit out of this uh, program here um, and get rid of this picture and I'm gonna actually take you to Google right now so you're gonna see a bit of a mess and then we're, we're gonna click over to Google so hang on with me here for just a second okay here we go <clears throat> so let's say you were going to write a book that has to do with it's a nonfiction book or maybe it's even a novel um, and it has to do with um, women uh, uh, women business owners so you're writing a nonfiction book that gives advice to women business owners or your novel is about a woman who is a a business owner or an entrepreneur so what I would be doing is I'd be coming to go Google and I would be typing in something like how many uh, women own businesses in the United States because that's where I live and I immediately come up with this information from um, a government office that says there are 7.8 million women owned businesses in the United States and that that's um, an increase from 2002 to 2007 a 20.1% increase from 2002 to 2007 um, and that 28.7% 20, uh, 20 of all um, non-farm businesses across the country generate anyway that they're, they're women owned so you can see the information here and there's lots of information you could click on to get more information here's information from the Census Bureau right so you, the Census Bureau almost always have, has information uh, so you could find the information there okay now you could do the same thing and look at uh, you know how many women own businesses in the world um, I have no idea what kind of statistics you would get but we could take a look 
And you can see that uh, you can find the economic impact, women run 30% of all businesses, you know, so you're going to find a ton of information. Now if I can't find the information here, I might actually go to organizations. So you know, some of this is going to be from organizations um, as well as, I mean, here's a Gallup poll. Um, routers, um, but but there you know will be women in business. You could probably find something from women in business. Here's an organization www.prowess.org, women enterprises facts and statistics. So you can go to organizations. You can also go to um, magazines. So I have no idea what I'll find here, but magazines for women business. Oh. No. Owners, and I also often use uh, information from magazines um, in terms of their subscription rates. Um, how many how many people actually subscribe? So um, if you can go to a magazine uh, and find out how many women subscribe to their publication. then that's a statistic you can use. I'm not seeing that here right away. Um, I know that when I, uh, when I write proposals for books on writing and publishing, I'll often quote the statistics um, from Writer's Digest magazine on how many people subscribe to their magazine. So I'm going to look at one more site if I can get it to come up here. My computer's a little slow today. I'm proce processing a film at the same time, so I probably shouldn't have been doing that at the same time. But in any case, um, I would suggest looking at magazines and seeing if you can find out um, how many people subscribe because that is a nice way to uh, be able to say, you know, this many people are subscribing to the magazine. And um, it's another number to support you. You can also look at um, look at how many people, how many different groups there are. So I'm not seeing it here either, but you could do some uh, some further research and you could probably find it. Um, I also will look, for instance, at uh, the number of meetup groups uh, for a specific readership. Um, I may look at how many LinkedIn groups or Facebook groups there are for a specific readership. Uh, these are all ways to try to discern the size of a market. So you could, for instance, here you could put in meetup groups for women business owners. And well, you have the Women's Business Networking. Um, there is the, a, a, a group, uh, several groups for women, but here is just meetups. Or I think this will be meetups. Meetups is a, a online um, way to connect with people, but you actually connect in person. But first, you connect uh, online. But you can see that there are 2,834 groups with 516,600 members. Um, so, and in 61 countries. So this is a statistic you could use. Um, you know, you could even uh, take a screenshot of it and this would be information you could put in your market analysis. So all this type of information goes into your market analysis and you break your markets down into, you know, women who, perhaps women who want to start a business, women who are um, already own a business, uh, you know, um, women who have owned businesses, uh, you know, anything like that. So you would actually, you, you might have, your market might be broken into two, three, four, five segments, or maybe not. Maybe it's just one segment. Um, and you might talk about the fact that women buy more books than anyone else and provide a statistic. Um, you might say, you know, there's this many women in the world and this many of them own businesses. This is all information you could include in your market analysis. Uh, and basically the idea is that you're proving that there are enough people to read your book, to buy your book, to make it a viable business proposition. But this is how you are going to do your market research. Uh, you can make phone calls to organizations, you can send emails to different uh, organizations or groups, and again, you know, look at all the social networks 
uh, and use Google over and over again to put in different inquiries, different search terms to see what you come up with. And then you will write up your market um, analysis uh, with segments, as I said, if you have segments of your market, if you don't, if you just have one market, you will describe that market. You can describe the ideal reader if you like first and then say um, there are this many of these ideal readers in the world and use actual numbers. So go out and do your market research so that you can produce a book that is targeted at your market that your market needs and wants because as you do this market research you also will learn something about your market you'll have an easier time promoting to that market as well because hopefully you'll figure out where they hang out like at meetups or on Facebook or LinkedIn so this is Nina Amir the inspiration to creation coach I hope until next time you go out and you produce that market uh, market analysis for your book. You can also do one for your blog, help you produce a better blog, and that with that information you achieve more inspired results. Thanks so much. Find me at nina at ninaamir.com.